What's going on guys? Good 40 Brothers here for a video today and uh, we're actually, it's the well, one You guys remember what I told you in the last video? I said you only get new content when stuff breaks. Well, the cause has been broke, obviously. Yeah, it's broken, so today we're gonna drop it off to get fixed. Yeah, so uh, obviously you can tell by the title, we're taking it up to Octate Fab up in Pittsburgh. Um, right now we're- It's technically Pittsburgh. It's, it's up there, it's, it's close. So, it's like it's right before the city, yeah. somewhere over there. Somewhere but. Over uh, there. We're waiting for the tow truck to come right now. We are not driving it, even though it's somewhat drivable. We're not going to drive yeah, it. It's 28 it's, miles from the house. So, no, um, not worth it. not worth the risk. Really. Yeah, so we're going to go up there. We're going to go uh, drop the car off, bring the parts, get some uh, lunch, get some lunch <laughs> uh, and down in the city. Um, and we might stop and look at an SL, but uh, if, yeah. if we do, we'll put that in video. So uh, while we wait, we're going to go ahead and get the Kazi out, get it situated, and ready. We'll show to you some of the parts too we picked up. Yeah, more. actually, let's yeah. go get that right now. We'll show you. All right, Mag, I want to show them what we got. I'm gonna show you what we got. So obviously uh, we're doing a top end rebuild on the motor because it's uh, done so. Yeah, the exhaust uh, exhaust valves are all burned up on it. Um, some of the parts that we got here are I think those are the valve. They're called valve guides. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And then here there's the new exhaust valve. So um, supposedly whenever I mean it's real common for the exhaust valves to get burned up on this engine. Uh, the intake valves they normally don't go bad. Especially you're supposed. Well, go ahead. I, I said we'll just wait and see. Obviously, the engine has to be torn apart to, to get a good idea. We'll put a um, the guy we got in front. We'll put it. We'll put his uh. Yeah, I say we'll we'll, we'll we'll link his information for anybody else who wants to do a you know top end rebuilder. He sells. He, he like specializes in these cars. Specializes in these cars, so he has all kind of stuff. You know, whether it be performance mods, EFI stuff. I mean, he has. He has nice door cards. Yeah, he's got this nice car. We're gonna need them for these because uh, ours yeah. are messed up. We need some new seats too. Ours are all ripped up, but but anyways, yeah, these are the main stuff that we had to order because you can't really find these anywhere. They had to come from Germany. And um, I think it's pretty much it, Nick. Yep. All right, guys, check this out. This is from starting the car up. This all this blew out of the uh, exhaust. Which, I don't think that's supposed to happen. Yeah, that's not, probably not normal. And check this out too. This was yesterday. We took the car for a drive. That all came out of the exhaust pipe. So that's some serious. We got some serious problems going on over here. On the bright side, though, the car is looking really good. We cleaned it up yesterday because it was. It's been sitting and it was super super dusty. But I mean, it looks pretty damn good though. You guys just walk around. Sorry for the wind noise. It's really windy today. Getting replaced back to original, so it's gonna look sick. Why yeah, not? The, the grill's gonna go back to original. We're just waiting to find a good one. Um, we have this piece inside the car, but we're gonna yeah, wait until the car's we have that done. tow cover. But we're get new headlights because these are cracked. Yeah, I said, Nick, everybody says we need to stop talking over each other. We need to fix that. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> ain't gonna happen. The Italian ain't gonna happen. But anyways, we are still missing uh, this little jack point cover. Uh, the person we ordered the front tow cover from is gonna make those with 3D printer. He just hasn't done them yet, so we gotta wait. Whether or not the car looks pretty damn good. Sitting pretty low too. Obviously the SLS rear suspension, that's not, you know, not in the best of shape. All right, guys, so we're on this back lot as dealer. If you guys saw our post on Instagram, this is that SL that we found. Look at it, just chilling there. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Oh, man. Early 90s for sure. It's only got 57,000 miles. 57,000 got that blue interior. What's it got, Matt? What's it got over here? Built in our radar, passport. Oh, it's got to be a 500 then. Look at that, look. Oh, oh man. It doesn't say what it is, but I'd imagine it's probably 500. I'll put the 300 on his call, man. I would like it looks like the sander tree for yeah. a while. 30 See, I don't know if you can tell. It's got good the condition. It's blue, blue interior. interior. Some mold in there. Original floor mats. Oh, yeah. Original radio. This car could definitely clean up. Like, no rust right here. The two tone paint looks pretty decent. I mean, it's definitely rough from sitting outside, but it will clean up pretty well. Let me see. Can you see inside there? Let's see. Oh, they're closer on this side of the ones. 
I just just even noticed it. It hasn't been inspected since 2016, so it was due in 2017. So it's definitely been sitting for 57,000 over four years, man. Four years. Let's get a price. All right, guys. I didn't even pay attention. The car's unlocked. Look at that blue tear. Look at that. that's the same steering wheel as the Kazi. You get this mouth. Oh, it smells, oh my gosh. It smells, smells musty and crayons. Smells musty. It smells like the cause you first got it. it needs Look at the headliner. Man, what do they did here, Nick? It's okay. in good shape. Let's I mean, that. this is your typical wear. All these R29s get to wear there. But other than that, that it's blue nice. is period correct blue over here. Okay. What do you think, Matt? Nice. A couple thousand? Let's see what they want for wear. All right, guys, we're back home and uh, I'm not gonna sure. I'm not really sure how this video is gonna turn out because when we got to uh, Octane Fab's shop, we got a little too excited, checking out the car, and I say we kind of, we kind of uh, just forgot to film. We forgot to film, and then when we were on the way, the EP5 near that. Oh man. Oh it's man. Sweet. One of our followers, because uh, he's doing a, a Wise Tech build on his EP5. Oh, it's sweet. The, the, the Zigno Mocha car. So you guys gotta oh, check man. that out. It's, it's awesome. almost done, but um, yeah. So maybe we'll get a video of that whenever he dinos. I don't know. I was talking to him a little bit ago, but uh, that's a sick. So yeah. obviously the car is gonna be there for a few weeks. Um. What else? Yeah, we totally forgot to film. Then we went yeah. to uh, Mercedes Benz in Pittsburgh. We went to Pacelli's. And then we went, we went to Pacelli's to get a little pizza. And yeah. uh, we didn't then film we, any of that either. We stopped to look at the SL too. So we stopped <laughs> to see the SL. So uh, what I was, yeah. I was gonna say, uh, let me go back. What I was gonna say is we went and talked to the salespeople. There's three guys at this uh, little tiny you know lot over here. It's their pre-owned. It, it, it's like a, a big dealer. They're like, just like a Kia, Infiniti, Nissan. I don't know. It's big Shoot. name dealers. Then they have all like their used cars go to a like a like a used car lot like next door. It's yeah. where they put their used cars. And they had this car there. It's been sitting there for like two or three weeks, and I, and, uh, I saw it, and I called the, one of the people working. I said, "Hey, they what, haven't called back. What's the deal with that, that cell?" And they're like, "Oh, it hasn't gone through our inspection yet, so we can't. We're not going to sell it yet. We have to wait." I said, "Okay, give me a call." That was at least two weeks ago, right? Yeah. Two weeks or, ago. No, I think it was last Monday. Yeah. Either, either way, uh, it's, been, it's been, a, a, been a week, week and a half, and uh, the three guys working there, they're like your typical used car salesman pitch, and uh, they didn't know anything about the car, they didn't even know they had the car, and then we asked to buy it as is, like today, and they said no, and then... Yeah, they're, they're, like, they're like, it has to go through our shop, and I'll, we're like, listen, we'll buy it right now. Yeah. We'll, Is there we'll any sitting right in the now. back? <laughs> Tell us what you want for it. I'm like, oh, we can't do that. And I was like, you know, I'm like, I'm like, listen, all the cars you sell here as is anyways, what difference does it make if yeah. they go to the shop? Yeah, so uh, I, gave them, I gave them my number and everything and uh, whether they get back to us or not, probably not. I have a feeling they're gonna send it to auction, but man, you guys can tell by the footage you just saw. It's a clean car. It's just it's clean it, car. It detailed. I'm gonna call the manager of the store. Yeah, I think we'll call tomorrow. It's pretty nice. Maybe we'll get it for a song and a dance. And, uh, <laughs> song and a dance. Song and a dance. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, yeah, this this video is all over the place. We got a little too excited at the shop today, but uh, yeah. you know what? It is what it is. Hope it you is. guys enjoyed this one. Yeah. So follow us on uh, Instagram at the Forty Brothers. Uh, give this video a like, share it, and um, subscribe. Subscribe, and we'll see you guys yeah. in the next video.